All right. Um, recently, I created my own viral video. Now, I didn't know at the time that it was going to be a viral video, but I felt like I wanted to create some sort of challenge, some sort of thing that could go viral. I just didn't understand how it was going to go viral. So let me first explain something about going viral. Uh, now, the idea of going viral means that uh, people share through a social media network and it spreads quickly. And in my video, I've done 1,300 views, 1,365 views in about four and a half months. I want to kind of share with you guys what I think the definition of going viral is. Something that gets shared and watched or viewed that's greater than the amount of followers or subscribers that you have. For example, if I have 147 subscribers, and my video does 1,365 views, then obviously this is spread quicker than my subscriber base. And for everybody, going viral could mean something different. For example, if you're Casey Nastat and you have 10 million plus subscribers, then getting a million views on your video is not really going viral. I just wanted to share my idea of what it means to go viral. I kind of want to, you know, let you all know that I have a video that's going viral. It's pretty cool to know that something that I made is kind of spreading quickly. Uh, it's pretty cool. I don't think it's because people are sharing it per se. I just think when you do a Google search on me at the zoo, I think I come up right there with um, the original video. Um, you can get high in the Google search results then you're gonna get a lot of views. Uh, just wanna kinda of share that idea out there, let you all know if you haven't seen that video, check it out. I'll put a link at the end of this video. Otherwise, I'm just in the studio trying to create some cool content, something different. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the real world.